In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can create a balance sheet. We're navigating to accounting and then choosing balance sheet. You'll immediately see your assets shown at the top. Many of these values come from records that are already in your Farmbrite account, so they're preloaded here, but you can always add additional ones. And then as we scroll down, we'll see liabilities shown at the bottom. Generally, these things aren't tracked in Farmbrite, so you'll be able to add the values to each one of these liabilities individually. The balance sheet subtracts those liabilities from your assets to determine an owner's equity at the bottom of the sheet. This might be a good way to determine the overall health of your business, and it could also be useful to give to a creditor or a loan officer when you are applying for a loan. Let's first take a look at how you can add the values for your assets. Your cash is a total of all of your accounting transactions calculated by subtracting your expenses from your income. You can find all of these on the accounting dashboard. Then we'll look at accounts receivable, which uses any market orders that are not draft, pending approval, or canceled, and have a balance due. The total of this balance due is your accounts receivable. You can also find that under your accounts receivable report. Each piece of equipment also has an estimated value that will be used on the balance sheet. And it's important to note that this only includes equipment that you own and does not include leased equipment. And the value of your inventory is also calculated. You can find the estimated value on the right. And if you click into an individual item and edit it, you'll see an option to supply an estimated value per unit. This is multiplied by the quantity of that item that you have in your inventory to determine the total value. You can also add an estimated value on your land. We're looking at one of our fields here. We'll go under details and see the field for estimated land value. And then finally, we also have estimated values on your livestock. These are available on individual animals or set groups. Be aware that it might take up to 15 minutes for the balance sheet to reflect the values that you add to these records if you're going through and adding them now as you do the balance sheet. You might have other assets that you don't track in Farmbrite, so you can add additional rows to your balance sheet. In this example, we're adding our investments, and you'll see the amount supplied is included in your total assets. And you can delete the row if you need to as well. And since you track these liabilities outside of Farmbrite, you can update and supply the accounts payable, any loans or debt that you have, rent and taxes and utilities. And then once you've added all of the data, you can then export it to a spreadsheet file if you'd like, or you can print it both physically out of your printer or by saving it as a PDF. You'll want to make sure you either export it or save it to retain a copy of this, as all of the edits and updates that you made to the worksheet are not saved in Farmbrite. And if you need more help with this, be sure to check out the help article in the Farmbright Help Center, as it'll walk you through this a bit more in depth. 